this is the reason why you know you need to subscribe to my youtube channel because everybody does builds but we do stuff a little bit different and we have way more content of real life whips of ordinary people that we do not just show cars youtube what's good man welcome back to another banging ass video man and we have a lot going on today well not really a lot in the video but you know throughout my day man i gotta get some stuff done Gotta pick up these kids, they got early out, gotta get pizza. Uh, man, so you already know, man. So, shout out to, to the world, and it doesn't stop, it doesn't, you know, wait for nobody. And, you know, we just need to get stuff done, man. But, definitely pick up some merch. Definitely pick up some merch, man. We got the Never Loud Enough stickers, and Never Loud Enough t-shirts. And purchasing those merchandise will get you entries in my 212 Sundown and 1200 Watt Bay Series Terra app, man, that you guys should be jamming for the summer, man. So, uh, good little nice little giveaway. Ends May 2nd. May 5th, we're going to announce the winner, along with the winner um, for commenting done for the videos trying to hit 1K. Um, man, let's keep these videos pumping, man. Let's let's let's, let's not stop, this man. This is what the decal looks like right here. I think the decal is like $10, and it got you two entries before, man. Today is a bit windy and chilly outside, man. Compared to yesterday, it was really hot. So, Florida, I don't know what you got going on, but you need to tighten up. So, this is the project that we got going on for today. It is the titty panel. Um, this is the back panel that goes up against the, uh, the back firewall of a single cab Silverado or GMC, whatever you got, or any truck. But um, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to make the ring for two sixes and two tweeters. But I think I'm just going to make one ring for the sixes and then two separate rings for the tweeters. Just so it can give it a little bit more of a, of a look than just something, you know, and that's that. You know what I'm saying? Although we could probably just get away with doing everything in one shot. But let's spice things up a little bit, man. Let's, let's, let's get it, you know, to look unique. But before we get started on anything, um... I think this is going to be like my third or fourth titty panel that I build, I think. And I've learned so much along the way doing them. You know, what to do with these lines, um, delete them or, you know, keep them. I always say keep them because they actually give it a little bit more look than anything. But, um, you basically got to try, um, new things on every time you do a build. But if something works, you know, um, just stick with it because you already know it's going to work. But through the other ones you know the textures um, they sometimes you know you see them through the vinyl although the vinyl does have some padding in it but you do see it looks like I don't know if you guys can notice it the padding is like rather thick but at the end of the day sometimes you can see it so some titty panels are good to do um, vinyl with a nice grain texture on it so it just blends in together but for this one, we're actually going to sand the whole panel down to try to get rid of a lot of it um, and see if we can hide it underneath the glue and the vinyl. But if it doesn't, if it pops up a little bit, it'll still look good. You know what I'm saying? You really, me as an installer, I notice it. But as, you know, a person's eye that just like takes a glance and a look in the truck, um, they'll never notice it. But, you know, I know it's there. Okay, so before we even get started, you know, I'm going to go ahead and clean it with uh, the high-tech, the, the prep, clean off all the oils and everything off of it, and then we're going to, you know, run the DA with a nice 80 grit and scuff it up really nice and try to eliminate some of the uh, texture on it, but not that much of it. Um, the reason why we're going to scuff it up with the DA um, with the 80 grit sandpaper is because when we go to set our rings with the hot glue gun, um, we want it to bond really good and not fall off and this plastic is a, a lot rather not as brittle as like OBS trucks so this one we can definitely run the staple gun through her and make sure we have a nice fleece job and everything so it looks fantastic you see what I'm saying so the plan for today is just to build the skeleton of this guy because then for tomorrow's video we can fleece and fiberglass so it will be a nice little video for you guys um, I don't really like to mix um, jobs on videos because, you know, if we're building, it's it's a video just uh, dedicated to just building. If it's the fleecing and fiberglassing, those things both go together, and, you know, that video needs to get dedicated together. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, prep this and clean this real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and set up and then get to work. Say hey, what's up. 
Okay, so it is 9.23 right now. This panel needs to be skeleton by 12 o'clock because at 1.30 I gotta pick up the kids from school because they get early out. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be an early day working, but we're gonna get the best of it, get all the, the job um, requirements done for today. So this thing is ready for fleecing and resin tomorrow. Okay, we're all set up already. And so this is what we got going on for today. So we're just using the DS18 as a template. And these are the actual tweeters that we are going with for this build. Let me grab a chair real quick. I'm going to have to be drawing today, so I need to be sitting. So basically what we got going on, we got this piece of wood right here that I just found laying around. And I am going to sketch out a quick template idea um, because I kind of wanted to match how the console looks and look, let me show you the console real quick if you guys like I said if you guys this is your first time watching the video I built the skeleton of this console yesterday and you see it so I kind of want to go with something like that so I can pretty much get away with actually putting the tweeters and everything inside there which we'll see how it looks um, I'll see how it looks because if I do put the tweeters inside it, obviously the tweeters are sitting, are going to be sitting inside that insert for that uh, template that's on the, the console. So we could actually probably just stick with that idea and just do one piece so everything matches the same. So I think we'll probably just end up doing that um, and that'll save us a little bit of time and it'll still give us um, that uniform look like everything's one. You see what I'm saying? Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually measure out the titty panel of the, the measurements that I took to where it's the open area in the center of the seat. And then I get to see how much space I got to work with because then I'm going to have to draw my, my template out, cut it out, set it inside here. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut the plastic out of the, the back panel so I can be able to insert the the insert for the speaker ring once it's all done but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the back of the panel out just enough so maybe we could squeeze the insert in but still so it can hold the integrity of the panel so when we fiberglass it, it doesn't slowly warp but although we are gonna be resining this guy but we're gonna mix it a little bit low so it cures slowly um, but surely and that thing is like solid like a rock so it doesn't give us a taco effect on the panel we still want it to be nice and straight you see what i'm saying so when we clip her in that thing is perfect there it's not picking up on the corners or any of that stuff so slow resining that guy will be the best bet so i'm going to go ahead and measure out what we got going on and then cut out the section and then cut the ring out set it in place and i think we'll be good guys all right so when i i did the consultation with my boy I actually took the liberty of measuring out his seat to see what the clearance was and so the top we can actually come in 22 and a half inches and the bottom part we can come in 23 inches so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape measure and measure from here to here and mark out 23 inches and then on the other side I'm gonna mark uh, 22 and a half inches I'm gonna mark them with my uh, what is this the wax pencils I think that's what they're called um, mark a line on it and then come back with my tape tape off the line and then draw that line with uh, the pencil so I know where I'm working at you see what I'm saying and so that way I can stay um, in that area and build what I want to build so then it tells me exactly how much space I got to work with so let me go ahead and trace that out real quick guys I don't know about you guys man but I, I like to jam 90s music whenever I'm doing car audio but that's that jam right there. Imagine that thing slowed down, just beating with the epicenter, man. Okay, so anyway, so we got it marked off. Um, so actually we could just stay inside the green lines if we want to. Although if we do go like from green line to green line on the outside, it'd still be fine. Uh, we still got so much space to go. Um, that's just playing it safe. You see what I'm saying? I think we should be okay. So basically my idea would be you know obviously the speaker and the speaker so honestly if I can build a panel to go 
like that, you know, with speaker here and speaker here. Sorry about my drawing, it looks ugly. And then maybe to do the two tweeters along the corner. That'll give us some really nice, like, curves and a nice face of her. Um, with the speakers risen out a little bit more than the tweeters, because look how, compared to the, the, the speaker, you know, like the depth on the tweeters is nothing. So that would actually give us a really nice um, flow effect, and that's what we always want. At least, you know, that's what I always like. I'm telling you, like, I see a lot of panels and everything's just, like, straight. So the tweeters will be up level with the speaker. And that just looks like a SpongeBob thing. Hi, SpongeBob. The SpongeBob. I, I, <laughs> SpongeBob. But we are not doing SpongeBob stuff around here, man. So I'm going to go ahead and draw something out. Okay, so we cut out the pieces of wood. And what I ended up doing is I ended up cutting this strip of wood out. And just so I could give myself a border. Um, so I don't have to sit here and measure out and all this other crazy stuff. I could just work off of this guy. Um, okay, so basically we have the speakers side by side. So we have to make our cuts count. Um, so they fit perfect. You see what I'm saying? So now what I have to do is I am going to give it a little bit of a, like maybe like a line and then an angle and then flat. Or I'll see what I can do. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I am going to give it like a line then an uh, angle, then flat, angle again, and come out. Just because the way how the other template looks on the console, um, some would get it to match. One thing about doing like uh, like the insert type of panels, man, they just take up too much space. They look good at the end, but they do take up a lot of space. That's why sometimes people are just limited on what they can do, and they got to make sure like everything fits you know, nice and snug. Um, you see what I'm saying? And I gave it a little bit more of a, a lip this time. So when we do our um, angle router bit along the insert on the inside, um, I think we can give it a nice little dip and then we can have enough space left over for our router line so everything looks nice and neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out this uh, design, what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna trace it out. And then we are gonna cut it out and then we'll get everything routered out and everything and then we're going to do tweeter rings as well too because i think i do want to do the tweeter ring look because i feel like it's going to look really bomb so stay tuned subscribe i've i've i haven't seen people do i mean i probably have seen people do like the insert type of panel and then maybe an insert type of panel for the tweeter so it's like two separate panels but we're going to do we're going to actually make real deal um rings for it just uh you know make it look a little bit different. i don't know i don't i don't even know if you guys can understand what's going on but so this is the the ring that we're gonna cut out and i got stuff drawn out and erased out i mean but if you guys can figure out what's going on you know that's awesome i don't even know what's going on but i'm gonna go ahead and run the table saw through this line right there and while it's set i'm gonna go ahead and chop that one so they're both uh, perfect and then i am gonna cut out the V shape in the middle and then trace it onto that side and then pretty much trace out what's going on right here onto that one because this one I can use it for the template for the plexiglass and use that one as the actual ring you see what I'm saying so I already have the template cut out just like on the other ones I got that cut out already and so I saved myself a lot of work when it's time to install everything so Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Look at that wind today, man. That thing is not playing. Like it, it's sending wind gusts out that are like serious. Look at this palm tree, man. That thing is just flexing everywhere. Look, look at those guys over there. And right now it's calm. Like man, it it throws some breezes, some wind gusts that is like crazy. I feel like the tent's gonna get up and fly away, like a hot air balloon. Okay, it is traced out and ready to get cut. Now, don't scold me, please. You know, like, I'm a jigsaw guy. You feel me? Okay, so it just got cut out, and I haven't, like, sanded it or nothing. Man, look, I'm telling you. Okay, so I cut it out. I haven't uh, routed or nothing out or uh, sanded it down to make it look nice, but that's the, the panel real quick. And we are actually going to, you know, somewhere going to be in this area, right there. And so the tweeters can just go across the top. 
um, but the tweeters are probably like in the middle so you know we can have some nice lines because if we do them right here on each corner it just leaves a big gap in the center and I really don't want that to, to happen so we're just gonna go ahead and um, put the, the tweeters like somewhat center so there you guys have it so now I'm gonna make the tweeter rings and after that we can start routering and mounting rings and then that's it stuff I would have put the camera you know um, tripoded it up so you guys can see me router man but this wind will just take that camera and then just uh, man you already see it it's getting bad but anyway so i went ahead and i did the, um, the fan router on the inside of the uh, template very nice very nice and as you can see look even though we hand cut it it still looks nice you see the routers actually the router bits help out pretty good so i have tweeter rings so i'm gonna actually go ahead and I don't I was gonna do like an angle on each one so they're like um they have the angles on them but I think I'm just gonna do square just because if I feel like if I put an angle on it when I router it it's not gonna give me enough lip but only this time only this time we're actually gonna use a lot small smaller roundover bit and as you can see it's this guy right here and this is our bigger guy that we always use but since we're doing smaller stuff and not in like um, certain height so uh, they don't cross when I do the, the router on it, I'm just going to use the little guy for today. Um, this should do our trick. Like I said, it's a learning process, so as we go, we learn more stuff. And, you know, I did the stuff yesterday. It came out good, but I wish it would have gave me a little bit more um, of a lip. But I, that means I would have made this a lot more bulkier. And the key is not to make it as bulky. You see what I'm saying? So this is our solution to the problem. So this is the look that we're actually going for. And as you can see, it's the template where the six is going to go right here. And then the two tweeters on the top kind of like um, slanted down a little bit. But like I said, this is going to be sticking up a little bit. And then that's going to be like countersunk to the back. So it gives it a nice, you know, effect. It's not just like bulk, you know, SpongeBob again. Hi, SpongeBob. The SpongeBob. I said, who's SpongeBob? Look at those routers, you know, very nice. Look at that thing. That when we wrap it in vinyl, that is going to be a key focal point. And look at the, the little um, router bit. So that router bit, you know, like I said, like I usually just use roundover and the fan one. But I did have that one for a smaller project. I think I did some braces and I needed a small router bit because I had cut out um, inner cutouts with little designs on it. And I couldn't put the big one because of the bearing. So then I got the other one just to give it a little bit of roundover and it came out good. But for this one, we actually used it for our um, outer line. So when we fleece, you know, um, we can have a staple line. And it actually just did a straight up uh, router versus the other router bit. You know, it gives it more of a round look. Um, so it actually worked better for us because we're looking for somewhat the square look versus rounded. Um, but, you know, it's still going to do its job and man it's gonna look really badass and i'm actually gonna like this time i'm gonna bring come out a little bit more with the fleece so i can blend it out a lot nicer than the other one because like i said we step up our game on these every time we do them okay just like i had comment previously we have to de her down and so when you put the hot grease sticks on her it, it grabs it really nice so I'm actually looking for the DA. Oh, there, there it is. Man, it's right in front of my face. Bam. We already cleaned it with the prep. And so now we're just going to take this tape off. And then we're going to re-line uh, it up. Because now I'm just going to do the center so I can center this guy up as best as possible. And then the tweeters, you know, we can just make sure that they're nice and um, even on both sides, symmetrical. And then glue her down and then the skeleton is done guys but although the uh the prep did get a lot of the grease off of it um like i said we're just gonna go ahead and grind some of this texture off just so when we wrap our panel um it looks really nice under there and because this one i do want to put a little bit more extra effort in her because since we're doing this um speaker grill thing you know with the plexiglass this panel is going to be seen by a good amount of people as well like on TikTok. On TikTok I do good. So we gotta make that thing look really nice once we wrap it up.
All right, real quick, if the camera falls, man, it is windy, like I said, and I can't control that man upstairs, you know, giving us a cool breeze today. So let's touch this thing, yeah, it is very hot. Gorilla glue again. So I made a little table, and let me see if I can lift it up just a little bit, guys. Okay, so I made a little table because I am gonna go ahead and glue these rings down so I know that they're glued down pretty good. So basically, it's just gonna go somewhere like along the edge because at the end of the day, we're gonna break these rings off to slide our insert piece. And I already got the back panel cut out already so it can slide in there and it's actually good because we can back the back of the panel so it stays really strong. So let me go ahead and glue this one down real quick. So this one's already glued down and I may just add a little bit more extra glue in it just to make sure that it's in there. The tweeters, I'm actually going to have to do them as Since I Since I pretty much got the, the stands pretty much even with the panel, I can go ahead and measure from here to here to make sure that it's perfectly centered. The center's 29, but obviously I can't get a good marking on it. So I can do the next best thing and measure from here to here to make sure it's nice and even. So let's do that real quick. So you see the time, and look, the skeleton is done. Looks good, I might add. Okay, so basically everything's already glued in in place, and I may just throw a few little dabs here and there. So these guys, just because, get extra grip on those things. seen it just so these things can grip but like I said with you roughing up the surface and man this thing right here that thing's on there guys that thing it's it'll take a hard yank for this thing to fall apart like I always say man trust the process it may look crazy or too bulky, but once we, you know, blend it in with everything, man, that thing's going to be sick, guys. Very, very, very sick. And tomorrow's video, man, that thing's going to be us fleecing it and glassing it. And once we fleece it, we're going to know exactly what it's going to look like. And, you know, it's going to give us some nice futuristic looks. Although, man, I'm telling you, this console right here, I can't wait to fleece it because that thing's going to look nice. Especially with now the titty panel, man, it's it's a lot of work inside that thing. We still got plenty of work to go. Um, we got to get my boy right for the Cinco de Mayo thing again. And so much to do, so little time. But man, it is what it is. We can do what we can. This is the reason why, you know, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because everybody does builds, but we do stuff a little bit different. And we have way more content of real life whips of ordinary people that we do, not just show cars. You definitely, you definitely gotta hit that like button for this one, man, because that thing looks really nice. Um, and yeah, man, hit that like button. Thanks for watching today. Pick up some merch into the giveaway, and stay tuned for tomorrow's video because tomorrow's video is gonna get 